you've made quite a name for yourself in ADCs, and uh, you know, and, and you're doing some really intriguing work, and you're getting the attention of a few major players. Right. Okay, what's an ADC? What's it supposed to do? Why is it going to solve the world's problems? It's an AirData computer, and the reason we decided to get an AirData computer, we had an encoder that has part of that capability inside. But as Garmin came out with the 430 and 530s, it's an incredible piece of avionics. And it has a lot of capability built into it that the pilot doesn't always see because he doesn't have the equipment to show it, such as on the primary nav page, you can have a wind vector, which gives you the wind direction and velocity, real time, all the time. So as you climb out, you know the effect of the winds on you. We saw a tremendous opportunity in providing an air data computer to that market at a relatively low cost, because there were no low cost solutions at the time. And we came up the idea of, of this new ADC. And not only does it help give you wind vectors, roll steering, autopilot intercept, when it knows its winds, it's gonna do a much better job of, of doing turn anticipation without the overshoots. So it has a lot of capability, it has a lot of capability to that system. And that's why we came out with it. How do you do it? What, what's involved in building the modern ADC? Our ADC is certified to 35,000 feet. We did not go to the um, 50,000 feet. We were really looking at everything from King Airs on down, mm -hmm. that type of aircraft. But it was a very focused market. And so we do things very unique in our altitude and airspeed uh, calculations that allow us to use a very cost-effective transducers in it. We already had a lot of our software done in some of our other products that we were able to incorporate in it. We do things like our, we have a, uh, an extrusion that we mounted in. It starts out costing a little more, but in, by a piece price it, it comes down because we're not doing stampings on every piece. Now, this particular market, with the insistence on more and more data being fed into screens and so forth, how is this kind of product going to evolve in the future? What we do, as just an involvement we just had actually, is we took this box. We had, we had a customer that had, in, in his helicopter operation, and by the way, all of our equipment are certified to helicopter vibration and shock requirements. Mm -hmm. We do that on everything we build, and that gives you a helicopter extra insurance. in particular, that's a vicious environment. Very, very vicious. But we feel if we can pass that, we can work in any environment. So what we did on this, we were approached by a helicopter uh, operator, one of the largest in the world, who needed to have an uh, interface between the Garmin and, and the columns, as we spoke before, their, their, their transponder. We were able to take this box, and because we had all of the capability built in, we knew how to interface to Garmin, and we knew how to interface to Collins. We already had the inputs. We modified the inputs and came out with a new version of Dash 02 that is specifically designed for that. So when people come to us, particularly as a manufacturer, and say, we have a need for this. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't meet it totally. Can you make a modification? Mm -hmm. then, then that's what we do. As far as Sandia is concerned, I mean, how much of this, uh, how much of uh, your business is the ADC market, and how much uh, of this market are you after? I mean, to a certain extent, how much of this? Uh, We're after it all. Well, of course, I should have, <laughs> should have thought about that again. So, how how you how do you intend to play in this particular product line? We're pretty much by ourselves here in this price range. Uh, the next prices you find are going to be twenty thousand dollars. Okay. Nobody has really designed an ADC for light GA, mm -hmm. and we did. And we felt it was very important to do that because these people deserve that same capability right. of having a citation. You know, that's what I want to fly, and I'm a light GA guy. So, um, I don't know, there's what, 100,000 430, 530s out there? Every single one can use one of these. Now, some yeah, have yeah. ADCs with them, yeah. but those that don't can. So we think it's a huge market. Aero TV is brought to you by... The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. 
Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.